Hello and welcome at Eurosatory 2024, the world's largest defense and security exhibition. My name is Teresa Pultarova and here with me is Dr. Andreas Schwer, the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer at EOS. Hello. Hello. Can you tell us a little bit about EOS's place in the defense sector? EOS is a medium-sized defense company. We are on the market about 40 years now. We are an innovator and incubator of new high-end technology. We are very much known for our activity in space, where we can do space control, space warfare type of activities. We are the inventor of the remote weapon station product. We are one market leader in high-energy laser weapon systems against drones and other kind of uh, unmanned air vehicles. And we are also active in the area of satellite communication terminals, mainly for naval applications. We are specific in terms of high-end technologies. Usually our products come with 30 to 40 percent better range, better accuracy than the next best in glass. And that is what makes the difference today, in particular if you talk about anti-drone systems where it all matters about accuracy. How do you ensure that your technologies are exactly what the defense forces need? I mean, thanks to our medium size, we are very close to our clients. We customize solutions. We can afford customizing solutions. There is no one-fits-all solution. So we reach out to the client. We go with our people, even on the battlefield, and see what's going on. We use the feedback from what they have experienced and uh, optimize the systems for their particular needs. That's, makes, that's very different from what other uh, companies are offering. What is the role of EOS in securing the safety of Europe? US is very quick in terms of adapting to the market demand. We've been asked by multiple European clients to settle down, to localize our technology in Europe in order to serve not only the European needs, the homeland needs, but also to help European governments in supporting, donating projects and activities towards Ukraine. U.S. is also another advantage. U.S. has funded all these activities by its own means in the past. We own all of our IPRs. It's not owned by one of our clients or by our government. We own it. And thanks to that, we can localize and transfer IPRs as much as we want into our client's country. That's a big discriminator on the marketplace. So we can become tomorrow a German, a French, a British, and Italian company and produce everything from a local supply chain. What can we expect from you as a company in the coming years? EOS will expand much more its huge product and innovation potential. So the company was missing over the first 20, 30 years to roll out and commercialize all of its innovations, all of its IPRs. We've started in mid of 2022 when the new management came aboard to do this. We have rolled out a couple of interesting new products and we will continue on, on that domain. So we will see next generation laser weapon systems up to 100 kilowatt coming out very soon. And you can also expect from us the next generation weapon station products with an even higher accuracy and a much better user interface. So we will remain the leader in those market segments. Thank you. That was Dr. Andreas Schwer, the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer at EOS.